I'm Miss Corrine. Welcome to the Treehouse. I'm so glad that you came today. We are going to have a wonderful time. Today, we're going to read a story and do some songs and some finger plays. But first, before we get started, I would just like to tell all the families at home about some of the creative ways that you can tell stories if you don't have access to any books or reading materials. So here I've got some samples of things that I've made that I use at story time. Here we've got some popsicle sticks and I've just created some little animal figurines on the t glued them to the top. You could use artwork or postcards. Anything you have in the house, you can sing songs or tell stories with the pictures. I've made some story stones. I've just printed pictures of clip art off the internet and glued them to some rocks that me and my daughter collected in the backyard. Here I have some pictures that I cut out of a calendar. So I just cut them out and if you want, you can laminate them or you can just use some tape, some clear packing tape, just to seal them and keep them from getting ripped and torn. You can also use a variety of household items to make shakers and things that you can add sound to the stories or songs that you sing. We've got some stuffed animals here that we use sometimes. And me and my daughter, we just pull, pull animals out of the basket and just randomly make up stories. It's a lot of fun. We've also got some cups here. We printed pictures off the internet or cut them out of magazines and put together your own little cup story. If you've got felt or craft materials at home, you can create some little items that you can tell stories with on a felt board. There's lots of wonderful ideas. And now it's time to read our story. So today's story is called Tap the Magic Tree by Christine Matheson. Oh, wait a minute. I think I hear my friend, Mr. Squirrel. He loves stories about trees, and I think he'd love to come out and hear this story with us. But he's a little bit shy, so why don't we sing a song together? And that might encourage Mr. Squirrel to come out and play with us. Now, you might remember the words to a song called Mr. Sun by Rafi. This goes to the same tune as that, and it goes like this. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, Squirrel, Mr. Douglas Squirrel, please come out and see. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, Squirrel, Mr. Douglas Squirrel, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, Squirrel, Mr. Douglas Squirrel, please come out and see. I hear him. Oh, here he comes. Hello there, Mr. Squirrel. Welcome to the tree house. We're so glad you came. Can you say hello to all the viewers out there? Oh, oh really? You want to sing another song? He really, really, really likes singing. And one of his favorite songs is If You're Happy and You Know It. So if you know the words, please sing along. Oh, if you're happy and you know it, clap your paws. If you're happy and you know it, clap your paws. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your paws. If you're happy and you know it, shake your tail. If you're happy and you know it, shake your tail. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your tail. If you're happy and you know it, scamper your feet. If you're happy and you know it, scamper your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, scamper your feet. That's wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. All right, my friends, I think we're ready to get started reading our story of the day. So I'm just going to find a nice little spot for Mr. Squirrel to sit down and then I'll introduce the book. Here we have it, Tap the Magic Tree by Christine Matheson. I'm so excited to be reading you this story today. Tap the Magic Tree. There's magic in this bare brown tree. Tap it once, turn the page to see. Tap again. One, two, three, four. 
Now tap again, even more. Rub the tree to make it warm. Touch each bud and see what forms. Give the tree a little jiggle. That's it. Now make your fingers wiggle. Brush away the petals. Swish. And blow the tree a tiny kiss. Shake the tree. <gasps> plop, plop. Knock, knock on the trunk. Now stop. Pat the leaves, but be gentle, please. Now blow a whooshing breeze. Clap your hands, clap, 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 to bring the snow. Okay, be patient. Wait. Go. Close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Magic. It begins again. Do you see what I see in the tree? That's the end. Isn't that a wonderful story? I'm so glad you came here for to listen to that story with me today. Now, do you remember what you saw inside the tree? Two little bluebirds. I'd like to sing you a song that I know about little bluebirds. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. This song, we're going to sing it to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And it goes like this. Little bird, little bird, fly around. Fly up high and down to the ground. Little bird, little bird, flap your wings. Open your beak and sweetly sing. Little bird, little bird, fly to your nest. Now it's time to take a rest. So now while you're all laying down, and parents, make sure they have some room to move around because we're going to sing another little song and I'm going to wake them up and you get to be bluebirds, okay? All right, shh, everybody laying down? Pretend you're asleep. See those little bluebirds sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a cheery tune? They're so still. Shh. Are they ill? Shh. Wake up, little bluebirds, fly, fly, fly. Wake up, little bluebirds, fly, fly, fly. Wake up, little bluebirds, fly up high. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us at the Treehouse today for story time. I'm really, really glad you came. And now it's time to go meet Miss Chantel to go on a nature walk outside. She's going to take you on a little tour of Redwood Park. Bye for now. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Chantal and I work for Surrey Parks and I'm going to take you on a nature walk through Redwood Park. Let's go. So as we go, I want you to think about your five senses. It's really important to use your five senses when you're exploring outside, whether that's your backyard or even just a tree outside your house. So follow along and let's wake our senses up. Okay, the first sense is our sense of sight. So using our eyes to look very carefully. Do you know any animals that live in this forest who might have big eyes? An owl, yeah. So we're just like an owl, we're going to look up, look down, look behind us. And owls actually have such big eyes that they can't move their eyes in their head. So they have to turn. They can actually turn their heads almost all the way around. Try it. Our next is our sense of hearing. So we need to use our ears to listen really carefully. If you cup your hands like this and put them behind your ears, you'll be able to hear a little bit better. And animals can hear a lot better than humans. So while you're walking, you can listen for a squirrel jumping from one branch to another or birds chirping. So let's see what we can hear. Okay, what did you hear? I think I heard some birds. Okay, our next sense is our sense of smell, using our noses. So, if everyone can follow along, let's take a deep breath through our nose and out through our mouth. Let's do that one more time. Okay, what did you smell? And it smells nice and fresh out here. So next time you're on a nature walk, if you're looking for something to smell, you can grab a little piece of a leaf off the ground and crush it up a little bit, and that will release some of the smell. Okay, the next is our sense of touch. So bring your hands up. I want you to wiggle your fingers, tickle your hands, clap your hands, rub them together until they're nice and warm. And while you're on your nature walk, you can definitely touch things, but please remember to always be gentle, look before you touch things, and always leave everything in the park. So if we walk over here, one thing that you can do next time you visit is to feel the trees. So trees have all kinds of different bark. Some feel rough and crunchy like this one, or they have strips like this cedar tree here. Um, so give it a try next time you're exploring. The last is our sense of taste. We're not going to use this on our nature walk today, but it's still an important one. So we're going to leave the food and including things like berries and seeds for the animals that live here because they don't have a grocery store to go to. So let's see what kinds of foods exist in this park. Now one thing you can find in the forest are some tree cones that have been chewed by squirrels. So these tree cones, we call them cone on the cob because they're almost like a piece of corn that has been chewed up just like these. All right, now that your senses are warmed up, we're ready to walk and explore the park. <laughs> 